knows heaven knows why pink panther is i've heard pink panther's music before i knew what her style was like her style is okay look i can make a cute voice and i can make music using this cute voice watch me make music using this cute voice and then this backed by like a cute beat you know what i mean like i mentioned the powerpuff girls vibe that i get from some of the drum patterns i'm surprised though although i knew pink panther has made quality music i'm surprised that her and her team were able to get so much and do so much with this album just with that style of the cute voice style now I, i'm not trying to downplay what pink panther is does because i think her songwriting is good i, I think she understands melody more than a lot of people in or more than a lot of singers or artists in the R&B lane. I'm not sure what genre you would put this in. Like, I don't really care to put it in the genre, but I think in certain genres, she understands the songwriting aspect and the melody aspect more than a lot of her, of her contemporaries. I'll say contemporaries. And I think she kind of has to because vocally she at this point in her career seems to be only capable of doing one thing and that's cute voice but then she has but then her stats like if she was a 2k player like her her vocal stats like she's up she's about like a 40 out of 99 but the melodies and the songwriting she's like a 80 out of 90, 90 out of 99 like she's up in those and she compensates right and again i'm not really sure how much of this album she's writing like she has writers i me personally i think she's the primary writer I, I don't think like she has a whole bunch of writers writing her songs on this album because it sounds personal it sounds like what i've heard from her before when she was more of an independent artist before she was signed to warner uk like it it, it, it matches like it, it connects so I, i'm not of the belief that pink panthers has a bunch of people writing I'm, I'm of the belief that she has a she's a primary writer so with that being said i have to give her credit for her songwriting for her melodies she understands like uh the comp the complex physical things that so many artists don't understand about songwriting melody yes you can rap let yes you can sing but you don't have this other portion and she has that portion and it works for her now pink panther is, is also mentioned as a producer on every single song like she's noted as a producer i'm not sure what that's about uh her wikipedia says that she used to play instruments wikipedia says she used to play instruments she took piano lessons as a child uh, she was a lead singer in a rock band she, they used to cover paramore my chemical romance green day etc so i'm not sure how much of these instruments she's playing she's again she's listed as a producer throughout most of this album throughout all of this album if i had to guess right and again who am i i'm not musically trained i didn't well, i took piano lessons but i'm not like a savant on the piano if i had to guess though i would think pink panther is her contribution to the to the production and she is finding the drum tracks that she wants like she's that that's what i think she has in common throughout this album i think she's finding a lot of these drum tracks and then the other producers like cash cobain binks uh who was the greg kirsten they are building around that and then adding like these violins and these acoustic guitars and then these chords like that that's something i said during this reaction how much did this album cost because i hear a lot of live instruments some some of these songs are cinematic almost um and for an artist I, I know pink panther she has a lot of she has a lot of juice coming off boys a liar with ice spice but she doesn't have a mainstream sound obviously mainstream sound that changes throughout time like she, she this album could go nuts and now everyone wants to sound like her now her sound is the mainstream sound but she's like no song on here and that's something else i appreciate appreciate about pink panther is no song feels forced the only song on this album that feels forced is boys a liar and that's because one of my airpods my fault the only song on here that 
the only song on here that sounds forced is Boys a Liar. And obviously, it's, it's just thrown onto the album. I, I would assume Pink Panthers had a hand in sequencing the sequencing of this album, like where the ordering of the tracks is what I mean. And she didn't want to break up what she has she had already accomplished through tracks one through twelve. Like she knew she had a she had a idea of where she wanted certain songs to go, and she knew she had to include Boys a Liar because of how big it is and how much it's going to uh, contribute to her overall sales. But she didn't want to mix it up in between other songs and break up like this this continuity she had with all their other songs on tracks one through twelve. So she just took Boys a Liar and just here throw it at the end. That that's what it seems like. But the other songs are not forced. I appreciate that she made this album with um without I mentioned earlier, like when I was looking at her and I was like, oh, would you crack? I was making that jokes. But I appreciate that she made this album without being super explicit sexually. Like she had a couple uh, sexually explicit bars, but I appreciate that that's not her style because we already have too much of that. And this is part of the reason why she stands out. And she's not here with her ass out. I don't even know if Pink Panthers has ass. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. But she's not here with her ass titties out. Th 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 like, all this type shit. She's not being super explicit. Like, she's really... And this kind of goes into what I was saying musically. Like, she's not reaching. She's just doing her style. And take it or leave it. So you're not going to hear many albums that sound like this. So the thing mostly that I want to point out is how we have this change from Pink Panthers on these cutesy, super feminine, quirky type beats to a more cinematic, like deep. Like if I had to describe just the sound, like if I just sat back and just thought of one thing when I think about this album, I think about the ocean. Very deep, dense, depth, all those D words. That's what I think. So she went from very cutesy, girly, like limited to Claire's type beats to a to very quickly deep sounding production. And I wonder what made her do that. But anyways, I don't like rating albums on the first listen, but if I had to rate this album, I gotta get this album a cool four to four and a half stars. This is a great album. It's really in a lane of its own and it's it doesn't sound like she is trying to sound like anyone but herself and she's evolved on a style that she was already doing she's already doing this type of style but then she she evolved it so i have to give her a prop stare uh, yeah, pink panther is i don't know she's very attractive to me but again i just have a different taste in women number one I'm always more drawn to girls who are not wearing a bunch of makeup like the full face beat the birthday makeup thing like i'm not into that can't dress that well yeah this is usually the type of girl i go for and like hobby shot girls i know she's not I don't know if Kenyan is qualifies as Sabasha, but she looks to me like East African, which Kenya is in East Africa. So I'm drawn to that too. So to me, she's she's just very attractive. But girls like this, like all of her songs are about significant other, heartbreak, stuff like that. Girls like this, you can't get involved with girls like this, like because she's too damaged already. Like she's like she's already had massive heartbreak. Like she's already tied to dude or the chick she's singing about, like. She's already too damaged. She says it in, in one of her songs, Capable of Love. She says, I don't even know if I'm capable of love after fucking with this person she's been singing about. She says it herself. She are, she's already tied to dude or the chick. So if you try to come after, like, bro, you're it's, it's, it's not going to be fair to you. You trying to come after this person who has affected her so much that she's making a whole album about them. She's singing about them. She's been singing about them. Like, she is so just completely engulfed by them bro don't 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 step into that bro like don't get involved romantically like if you're gonna like fucking be and go on just fucking go on like don't like she, she, she says it herself she is too damaged by this person to even go forward with this 